Hello friends. Welcome to Grow with Afreen. Today, we have prepared band 9 answers for Cambridge IELTS 14, speaking test 4. Keep in mind that all of the answers are slightly longer as they contain more information and ideas. Don't be afraid to listen and develop your imagination. And while you're here, why not subscribe to the channel for more content? So, let's listen and learn. Good morning, and welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Rob. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. It has three parts. I will give instructions for each of the parts. I am recording this test for marking purposes. All right. This is candidate number 930667, and the time is 11 o'clock. We are doing the exam in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And before we continue, can you please just show me your identification? Here is my passport, which I use to register for the exam, and you can take a look. Great, and what is your full name? My name is Afreen, and my family name is Yizman. You can call me Afreen. Okay, Afreen. For part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better, and a couple of questions on a general topic. All right. Do you work or study? I actually do both at this moment. I work for a financial institution as a financial strategist. And I also study IELTS and also GRE for my higher studies. Do you like the neighborhood you live in? Why? Why not? Well, living in the same neighborhood for years has made me fond of it. I appreciate the familiarity of my surroundings. Moreover, the cleanliness of the area and the well-planned homes are additional reasons why I enjoy living here. The friendliness of the people in the neighborhood also contributes to my fondness for it. What do you do in your neighborhood in your free time? Why? Why not? To be honest, I don't have much free time these days due to work commitments. Despite this, I try to make the most of any spare moments I do have. One way I do this is by greeting my friendly neighbors. I also like to participate in social events such as picnics and birthday parties in my community. Moreover, I occasionally engage in volunteer work aimed at helping others and making our neighborhood a more environmentally friendly place. What new things would you like to have in your neighborhood? Why? Why not? Without a doubt, my neighborhood is a wonderful place to live. From its wide streets to its clean ponds and lakes, it has everything one could ask for. However, I believe that there are always opportunities to improve upon one's surroundings. For instance, the addition of a large swimming pool and playground for children would further elevate the quality of life in my community. Would you like to live in another neighborhood in your town or city? Why? Why not? When it comes to moving to a different neighborhood in the same city, I am not keen on the idea. This is mainly due to the fact that I have spent a significant amount of my life in my current neighborhood. As a result, I have formed a strong emotional attachment to this place. Moreover, my work is located very close to my neighborhood, making it a convenient location for me to live. Okay, Afreen, at this stage of the test, I will give you a card with a topic. You will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes. Don't worry if I stop you. You have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. Here is the paper and pencil. Your one minute preparation starts now. Describe a website you have bought something from. You should say what the website is, what you bought from this website, how satisfied you were with what you bought, and explain what you liked and disliked about using this website. Your one minute preparation is up. Would you start speaking now, please? The website that I bought something from is called Amazon.com. It is an online marketplace that sells a wide variety of products ranging from electronics to books to clothing. I bought a pair of noise-canceling headphones from Amazon. I was very satisfied with my purchase because the headphones worked very well. I was able to block out all the external noise and allowed me to focus on my work without any distractions. One thing that I liked about using the Amazon website was the ease of use. I found it very simple to find the headphones I was looking for and to complete the purchase process. Additionally, the shipping was very fast and I received my headphones within a couple of days. However, another important thing that I disliked about using the Amazon website was the large number of options available. I found it overwhelming to sift through all of the different brands and models of headphones available. Additionally, I had some concerns about the environmental impact of ordering products online and having them shipped. 
To address my concerns about the environmental impact, I did some research and found that Amazon has made efforts to reduce their carbon footprint by investing in renewable energy and implementing sustainable packaging practices. I also found that they offer options for customers to offset their carbon emissions from shipping through their Shipment Zero program. Overall, I had a positive experience buying from Amazon and would recommend it to others. It offers a convenient and efficient way to shop for a wide range of products, with fast shipping and easy-to-use website. However, I would encourage everyone to consider the environmental impact of their purchases and to make conscious choices to reduce their carbon footprint. Okay, Afreen, I am going to stop you here. Please turn over the notepaper and put it to the side. I am going to take back the card. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you some questions regarding your part two response. All right. What kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? Well, people in my country buy a variety of items from online shops, ranging from clothing, electronics, gadgets, home appliances, groceries, books, and even medicine. One of the most popular items purchased online is clothing, as it allows people to explore a wider range of options and compare prices easily. Electronics and gadgets are also in high demand, especially smartphones, laptops, and accessories. Online shopping for groceries and household items has also seen a significant increase in demand, as it saves time and effort for many people. Additionally, online pharmacies have also become popular for purchasing medicine and healthcare products. Online shopping has made it easier for people in Bangladesh to access a wider range of products and services, and it is expected that the trend will continue to grow in the coming years. Why has online shopping become so popular in many countries? Online shopping has become increasingly popular in many countries due to its convenience and accessibility. With the rise of technology and the internet, consumers are now able to shop for products from the comfort of their own homes without having to physically visit a store. This means that they can purchase products at any time of the day or night without having to worry about store hours or long lines. Additionally, online shopping often offers a wider variety of products as consumers are able to browse and compare prices from multiple retailers with just a few clicks. This allows consumers to find the best deals and products that meet their specific needs. Finally, online shopping offers consumers the ability to easily and quickly compare prices, read reviews, and make informed decisions about the products they purchase, which can lead to greater satisfaction with their purchases overall. What are some possible disadvantages of buying things from online shops? While online shopping has grown in popularity in recent years, it is important to acknowledge that there are some potential disadvantages to buying things from online shops. These include a lack of physical inspection, shipping delays, security risks, and complicated return policies. It is important to use trusted and secure websites and be aware of these potential issues before making a purchase. Do you agree that the prices of all goods should be lower on internet shopping sites than in shops? I don't think that the prices of all goods should be lower on internet shopping sites than in physical shops. While online retailers may have lower overhead costs, such as rent, utilities, and staffing, they may also incur additional expenses in terms of shipping and handling. Additionally, online retailers may need to invest in technology and cybersecurity measures to protect their customers' personal and financial information. Furthermore, there may be other factors that influence pricing, such as supply and demand, competition, and marketing strategies. Some retailers may offer exclusive discounts or promotions to customers who shop in-store, while others may offer better deals online. It ultimately depends on the specific product, brand, and retailer in question. Will large shopping malls continue to be popular, despite the growth of internet shopping? The rise of e-commerce has certainly affected traditional brick and mortar shopping. However, large shopping malls will continue to be popular for several reasons. For one, people still enjoy the experience of physically browsing and trying on items before purchasing. Malls also offer a wider variety of products and services, including entertainment options such as movie theaters and arcades. Additionally, malls often have a social aspect 
providing a place for people to gather and socialize. Furthermore, many malls are adapting to the rise of e-commerce by incorporating online shopping options and implementing digital technology to enhance the shopping experience. Overall, while the growth of internet shopping has certainly changed the retail landscape, large shopping malls will likely continue to have a place in the hearts of consumers. Do you think that some businesses, such as banks and travel agents, will only operate online in the future? It's unlikely that businesses such as banks and travel agents can operate entirely online unless virtual currency is universally adopted and everyone has access to a computer and the internet. Unfortunately, due to poverty in many parts of the world, the likelihood of everyone having access to these resources is slim. Therefore, some businesses will still require offline operations to function. However, I agree that banks will continue to expand online services in addition to their physical branches, making online banking transactions more accessible, especially in urban areas. Thank you. This is the end of your speaking test. Thank you very much. Follow these tips to get a good band in IELTS speaking test. 1. When you talk, you should only look at your notes briefly. Don't read directly from your notes. 2. Don't be afraid to disagree with the opinions the examiner expresses. 3. It is important to have your own opinion to current issues. There is no problem if you provide any false information. 4. If you run out of ideas after one minute, give yourself a fresh start by looking at the task in the booklet again. 5. It's important to listen carefully to the examiner's questions so that you can answer in the correct tense. 6. When you answer yes, no questions, please answer the questions first and then give reasons for your answer. Don't simply answer yes or no. 7. Make good eye contact with the examiner from the moment you enter the room and answer in a polite and friendly way. Your body language plays an important role in communication. 8. Make sure that you arrive 45 minutes before your test so that you are not hurrying and have time to relax. If possible, please visit the test center before the day of your test so that you are familiar with where you need to go. The speaking test is a natural conversation. If you try to give a prepared speech, the examiner will interrupt you and ask you a different question. So try to be natural all the time. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.